Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a power series and we have to find its radius of convergence. Let us write the given power series first. I have already written summation n x raised to n. So this is a power series around x is equal to 0. Since normally in a power series we have x minus p raised to n. So we have simply x raised to n. So that's why it is a power series around x is equal to 0. Let us write a in here. Here a n. A n means coefficient. What is the coefficient we have? n. Right. And we have to find its radius of convergence. So in a formula of radius of convergence, a n plus 1 is also required. Let us write a n plus 1. So how to find a n plus 1? It's very simple. Simply replace n by n plus 1. So it will be n plus 1, right? So let us use the formula to find radius of convergence. Then the formula is 1 upon r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod a n plus 1 divided by n. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. What is a n plus 1? It is n plus 1 divided by a n, which is n. Getting? So I didn't write mod there. Since mod is not required, these numbers are positive real numbers, right? So let us divide them by, uh, I will divide this numerator by n separately. So we will have limit n tends to infinity. So n n will get cancelled if you divide separately. 1 plus 1 by n. So if you apply the limit, what will happen? This is value of 1 by r. Let me write here. So when you apply the limit, 1 is a constant. You will have the same value. But if you apply the limit to this 1 by n, n approaches to infinity. That means you will have 1 upon infinity. Its value is 0. So that's why 1 plus 0. So 1 by r is equal to 1. So we want r, radius of convergence. Let us take reciprocal of both sides. So r reciprocal of 1 is 1 itself. So that's why radius of convergence is 1 okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye